getting ready to go. Whatever the job demands. The um, breakfast and reanimator decks at the top of the metagame right now, I, I would say. Uh, and, uh, speaking of lands and or spells, Savannah, pass. Better than average. Six. Six. What? Okay, Wasteland on Savannah. Try again. Pass. Thoughtseize resolves. Let's take a look at Ron's hand. Double Force, Cephalid Illusionist, Thassa's Oracle, and Prismatic Ending. Uh, let's take the Illusionist. Well, it is the most important meal of the day. Okay, Cephalid Illusionist is gone. I'll just leave it open. Okay, until I brainstorm, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I play brainstorm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, land. Mm -hmm. So double force, Thassa's Oracle, Prismatic Ending, and an unknown card in Ron's hand. Dave will uh, be aware at this point that he's up against Cephalid Breakfast. Not sure if Ron knows what he's up against exactly. It's obviously a blue-black tempo deck of some kind, it seems. Here's Brainstorm. No. Sometimes in these early games these days, you can't really tell, like, am I against Delver, Blue Black Tempo, or am I against Reanimator? Need more information to figure it out. The Thoughtseize makes it likely that this, this is a Reanimator deck, I guess. Yeah, Underground Sea is in a bunch of different decks. I can pick up? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, okay. Sacrifice. Okay, Brainstorm resolves. Looks like Shuko and Narcomevil were drawn. Yeah, sorry. Cast Lotus Venom, Trigger. Yep. Uh, okay. Foster. Uh, combat? Mm -hmm. It's up to us. Two. And a Shuko. It's a giant Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Undercity Sewer Surveil. Shuko is on the board. Sorry, I totally forgot about the flex. <laughs> Shuko had its chance to shine in modern recently. It was previously only really a relevant card in legacy. In years past, prior to maybe, well, when did breakfast start getting popular? It was around the time that initiative started getting popular, roughly, roughly. Um, I mean, I'm talking about like big spans of time. Uh, prior to that, breakfast wasn't super common, but you'd see it here and there. Going back a little bit further than that, Thassa's Oracle was obviously a huge addition to the breakfast deck. Um, Excuse me again. No, no, no. You took enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a wizard cycling card, Step Through. In Modern Horizons 1, I believe. And then Urza Saga, obviously, was a big part of the deck as well. Yep. All right, here's Psychic Frog. Uh, yeah, uh, 
Jen pointing it out, Urza's Saga and Thassa's Oracle turbocharged the deck, I guess is the point of my story. Psychic Frog on the board, though. Meticulous Archive. Step through was MH2. Okay. MH2. Fair enough. Church. Folks, if you want to make it to the Pro Tour, and especially if you want to make it to the World Championship, you do have to memorize every single version of every card. What set it was in. The art, the artist's name. Um, all that. I don't want to hear about your product fatigue. Urza Saga is in. Sorry? Yeah, too, yeah. And product fatigue, of course, is a real thing. People are suffering. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Here's Nadu. And it looks like it's been resol it's resolving. Nadu's ability. After equipping with Shuko, two triggers here, get a land, get a swords, and might try to remove this psychic frog now. Yep. It's possible that the uh, Urza Saga should have been tapped from mana this turn. Um I don't know. Tundra. Wow. Okay, Swords will remove the frog. The frog is gone. Um, I will pass the turn. Yeah, the tapping of the mana there. Uh, Jen is Ron in the chat calling it a misplay. Those those tiny micro decisions can often um, make the difference in in games, especially high stakes games. Looking to tighten up your game, definitely think about what lands you're tapping. Um, I think we're all guilty of oh, I tapped the wrong land pretty often, but you'll see the uh, the players that play really tight that put up a lot of wins. They are very meticulous about that. All right, Troll of, of Kazadoom, Swamp Cycle happening. And Undercity Sewer is found. Um, I like it. Little bit of a uh, 90s MTG history, I guess. Dave Kaplan back in 2023, I think, won a Legacy 10K uh, at an SEG event in, I think, New Jersey. And uh, we have a recap of that event up on our YouTube channel if you're looking to see some high-level play. This was back when... Uh, the initiative was hot in the format. I think expressive iteration might have still been legal. I'm not sure. I don't remember the timing of it, but Dave Kaplan had an epic run and played really tight throughout that event. Definitely worth watching. Looking to something to looking for something to watch. Head over to our YouTube channel, check that out. All right, fetching a polluted delta. And just in general, if you're looking to watch and learn uh, um, from a player that plays really tight, especially playing these blue-black or blue-tempo decks, uh, keep an eye out for Dave Kaplan on our channel. All right, Fatal Push on Nadu. Force of Will was found and conveniently fired off here to protect Nadu. So Nadu protects itself. Push. And another Fatal Push. <laughs> I guess in my hand. Force pitching Narcomoeba. And the second fatal push is countered. <laughs> Good. All right, fought off two fatal pushes on Nadu. And, uh, okay, done a little bit out of order here. Urza Saga would tick up after the draw step. Shuko equip. Nadu to hand. So there was a backup. Thassa's Oracle to hand. 
The Elo bot, thank you for the sub with Prime. Seven months. Appreciate that. Yeah. I don't have construct tokens. <laughs> okay, make a construct. Equipping the construct. Okay, don't have the token. Okay. Equip. Sugar. Ah, yeah, okay. So these are all in my hand. Mm -hmm. These are revealed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things like uh, it, I guess it's fine if both players understand what's going on kind of thing, but don't just use a D6 as your tokens, folks. It, it's just not it's just not clear enough. Main. I'll play out an Archimedes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Equip. Yeah. All right. Brainstorm found. Cephalid Illusionist found. That could set up a nasty following turn. Yeah. One, two. Twitch chat calling for a DQ. Uh, pass turn. So the D6 in between Nadu and the Narcobiba is a construct. It's a uh, power and toughness is 2-2 two, two right now. And it looks like Probably. Ron has the win in hand next turn with the breakfast combo. Cephalusionist plus Shuko can mill the deck. Thassa's Oracle is in hand. The whole thing. Force backup. That would be the force, force, fourth force of will in this game for Ron. And these two are exiled. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna only play this deck on Rockford until I get like twenty trophies and everyone like, okay. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, Oh my god, Good. young power is the best card ever. Alright, passing the turn back to Ron. Not sure what the game plan is for Kaplan here, but maybe we're about to find out. There are also it looks like two copies of Illusionist in hand, so there's a lot of redundancy here. There's also a backup Nadu. Sure. So the sky is oh. like, these guys are now three threes. Okay, making another D6 construct, and uh, now we'll search. Have a lotus petal. Finding a lotus petal, okay. Main phase. Um, equip. Yeah, if you want to just, I'm, I just want to see what the rest of your deck. Okay, I'm that's gonna, fine. I'm, 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 I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, equip. Uh, yep. uh, play. Um, I'll cast Cephalid. Yeah. I'm Illusionist. Yeah. Equip. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, I'll reveal for Nadia. Yeah. That I can. Okay. And then I'll mill three. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it looked like No, 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 Okay. All right, ponder on turn one for Kate for Kaplan. Looks like there's a force of will in hand. Flooded strand pass. Flooded strand pass the turn for Rom. <laughs> uh, sounds like people are laughing in the background. Did anyone else hear that? I'll keep this. Good. Uh, targeting the lynch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably commander players, right? Like jamming their jeweled lotuses and their mana crypts and their dockside extortionists. And their Nadus. They're probably having a blast at the next table. All right, Meticulous Archive Surveil. 
Yeah, it's too soon, yeah. He's gotten one of like three in a row. The one thing that I didn't hear anyone talk about <laughs> when it comes to the commander bands are the play patterns. I haven't heard one discussion of play patterns yet. Is this Not sure. Nomads and Core? And does Commander have a watch list? Uh, Alright, Nomads and Core is in. And then it heads to the trash immediately. Fatal Push takes it out. Dave Kaplan will surveil now. Aviator says the rules committee keeps close tabs on the watch list. Yeah. AJ Potato says, thank you, Commander players, for keeping my legacy cards valuable. You know what, AJ Potato? Here's the thing. While I agree with that, I agree. I agree. More important to me is that they're keeping my non-legacy cards valuable. The ones I do not need are valuable, and then I can get rid of them and get something for them. All right, Wasteland takes out Urza Saga. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't think the Pioneer and Modern players are helping as much. Okay, Wasteland on the Archive. It's gone. Brainstorm? Okay, like micro decision discussion here. Are you supposed to, in air quotes, hit Meticulous Archive or Tundra with Wasteland there? They were both untapped. Which one are you supposed to waste? Does anybody have thoughts on that? We're getting really deep right now. Troll of Kazadoom getting swamp cycled. Dude, Alice or Shepard can just go like. All right, reanimate. Troll of Kaza Doom is in. That'll be a good attacker. Yeah. Twitch chat pointing out that if Days returns the archive to hand. Ron can possibly surveil again. That's true. Swords on the troll. Five cards in Ron's hand here. Force pitching brainstorm, protecting the troll. Maybe an opportunity for Ron to combo a little bit easier now with force of will out of the way. But... The troll will obviously be a fast clock, and Ron will have to hurry up and do that. Ponder left the cards on top. That could be bad news for Kaplan. Go ahead. <laughs> now Baragoyf. So this game could be slipping away from Ron. But there is enough mana now to combo. Oh, okay. Teferi. Okay, that'll be nice. Bounce the troll. Baragoyf will now uh, likely attack Teferi, is my guess. I think 5-6? Uh, no artifacts. No artifacts. <laughs> okay, so uh, Baragoyf's power is 5. <laughs> Under city sewer, surveil. Underground sea into the yard. Okay, attacking Ron, trying to get that barrel of trigger. 
Paragoyf only triggers when it deals combat damage to a player. It's different than the frog. Troll of Kazadoom comes to hand. I was just trying to get to the double yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Psychic frog on the board. Not sure why Baragoyf untapped here. Okay, Swamp Cycle on end step, the Troll of Khazad Doom. Dave with everything face up here, um, and Ron not a lot going on at the moment. Just a plus of Teferi past the turn. Basic Swamp is found. Psychic Frog and Baragoyf. It's possible Kaplan can swing for lethal this turn. The question is, do we want to discard our hand? If you don't shut down the so you can just like play a little bit. You have to have it. You can still play through. Don't think it's too big of a deal to discard Swamp and Troll of Kazadoom, but maybe the third card in hand is a must keep. Well, you can't have like double white and. Could get blown out here by a removal spell. Okay, I think we're at uh, no blocks right now. Effects before damage, swamp cycle, it makes sense. Okay, Swamp Cycling Troll of Kazadoom. Underground Sea is found. Thin the deck a little bit. So I can keep it. Because if you want, let's say you just step out for the Ice Raider and Hyper Space, then there's not a Micro Swamp Cycle. I can do it. It gives me like two times. Or like if you, if you spend up on water escaping instead of like no fish shape. Discard? Sure. That's all right. Sure. Oh, so if Barrowglyph has five power, this is lethal. Prismatic ending on the Barrowglyph. Um, so I'll take three. Yep, me six. Draw card. I had miscounted when I was talking about the possibility of discarding that third card. Only needed to discard two to Psychic Frog to represent lethal, but okay. So a Wasteland removes the trop, and then passing the turn, Ron will fetch. Against me, yeah. Blood Moon's worse, but within this matchup's context, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, you, you can't hold it. Yes. And then uh, in the sideboard ruination usually. Because I'm on the draw, so I'm on the play. Yeah. So usually how it end up, ends up going is you trade resources on your turn three, I can sign your micro spawn and then go for a donation. Oh, I know. And then it's a top. Hedge maze, surveil. And the play. And then it's like, you know, you know, you know, once or twice, or not, or like that stuff. Misty Rainforest surveilled into the graveyard. It's a fairy will plus here. Still needs to beat a Psychic Frog. At four life right now, Psychic Frog has three power. Nadu, okay. We like, you don't know what's on the top. Sometimes I do. I need to have like the story. Draw. Uh, play Wasteland for Turkey. Block. No, no roughly for the Destiny weakness. Okay, Nadu dies in combat. Psychic Frog is blocked. Uh, yeah. 
Teferi can minus here, bounce a Psychic Frog. Yep, that's the move. Psychic Frog and one un unknown card in Kaplan's hand. If you're hoping to see a breakfast combo, Ron has not been able to assemble much of anything in this game. Here's another Nadu, okay. Fine, six fighters versus three. Go ahead. Just a Nadu. And then I will sacrifice uh, the talent I got there. Sure. Nadu and Psychic Frog are on the board. <laughs> Second Psychic Frog, okay. Ron's at three. To ferry, okay. Bounce a frog. Ron could be stabilizing right now. Draw a card, a removal spell, and we could be in pretty good shape. Don't play. Uh, Pass the turn. This will force if if Kaplan wants to get through Nadu here. Force Kaplan to discard a few cards to Psychic Frog. To kill Nadu, we'll need to discard three cards. One I believe there are now three cards in hand. One of them is the second copy of Psychic Frog. Bird versus Frog, exactly. This is a nice little showdown here. Okay, playing another frog. Looks like we've chosen not to attack this turn. Pass the turn. It looks like Ron has stabilized at three life. Okay. Still, there's a second frog that needs to be dealt with right here. Uh, maybe maybe not maybe not stabilize then because uh you can attack with both frog all right here's a Narcomiwa. all right well <laughs> a uh chump blocker for now yes. a second psych psychic frog uh at three life meant that without a second blocker Kaplan can attack whichever one is not blocked pump. Okay, you're gonna jump one frog. Sure. Jumping both frogs, okay. Oh, they both fly. Yeah, they both fly. <laughs> like, I mean, that's okay, Kaplan forgot that Narcomiba flies for a second, it seems. Not a big deal. Attacking. Blocking both. Sure. Just like Okay, so the psychic frog blocked by Nadu will become a 3 4. Narc Amiibo will die in combat here. Discarded Harbinger of the Seas and Days. Swords on the large psychic frog. Pretty big. With the fairy on the table, not much Kaplan can do about it. Murktide. This game is getting interesting. This has been a good game. Exiling five cards from the yard, and Murktide is an 8 8. Plus. The fairy will tick up to three. No man's in core. Okay, so we've assembled a little bit of a combo here. Ron will get four. 
at least four triggers this turn of Nadu. Orem's Chant was found. Brainstorm was found. Nadu number two was found. Another Nadu can reset the, the score on Nadu triggers and, and allow Ron to do it all over again. But going to Brainstorm first, possibly looking for another creature. Okay, there's Cephalid Illusionist. This should be close to over now. I don't know. I think I think Kaplan's Hellbent. I don't know what Kaplan can do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. There's a Teferi. There's there's a lot going on. The Nadu trigger. Mm -hmm. Uh, do it again. Mm -hmm. No three. Yeah, big gaps. That is the match. Ron gets it. Kaplan will scoop. GG's.